If you want to quickly look for different content or node values or test a query before implementing it, with the Query Builder Debugger Console, you can do just that. In this Quick Tips episode, you will learn how. Keep watching. Hi there, I'm Manuel Gutierrez from delighthouse.co and in this Quick Tips series, I will share snackable videos focusing on just one feature or problem. So if you are new here, hit the subscribe and the bell notification buttons below so you don't miss a thing. Let's start. I am going to use the example application I created for the how to create an AM SPA component using React.js video. Just clone the repository, then change the directory and build and deploy the application. Browse to the Query Builder Debugger console by opening the following URL. First, specify the root path from where the search should start. And here, let's try doing a full text search by specifying the text to look for. We can see that the specification for this predicate allows us to set two properties. I am only specifying the full text one. We could also specify if we want the results to be ordered by the path to the nodes that were found. From the returned data on the right, we can, for example, check the rendered node as HTML, open the node in CRXDE Lite to check and maybe edit the properties, and so on. We could also search for the value of a specific property. We can see that for this particular predicate, we can specify the name of the property, its value, and the type of the operation to perform against that value. In this case, I'm looking for each node where the sling resource type is equal to React simple example components basic component to find all the instances of the basic component component. We could also change the operation to a like and add a wildcard to find all the instances of the components for the React.js simple example application. We can also check the response in JSON format by clicking on the JSON Query Builder link. You can see here that we are not seeing all the properties for each node. We can fix that by specifying the hits property to full for the root predicate. Click on search. Now, if we click on the JSON Query Builder link again, we should be able to see the other properties for the node. Finally, we can paginate the results by setting an offset which will define from where to start returning the data and a limit which will define how many elements to return. Awesome! Congratulations and thanks for watching! You can join the free mini course associated with this video by clicking on the link in the description below. Share any comments or suggestions about the series or future topics. And if you like the video, also hit the like button below.